I'd like to start these um, big questions with how can we, how can we make an efficient design from a structural perspective, is that right? Yeah, that's okay. kind of a long-winded way to say it. It's basically design an efficient wing, uh, wing structure. This meeting at Aviation High School in Seattle, Washington, is the beginning of a project that will teach students math, physics, and engineering. The team, which includes science teacher Scott McComb, math instructor Michael Gudor, wing design engineer Doug Gross, and project-based learning coach Eva Reeder, is tackling the first task of any good project, crafting the driving question. How can we make an efficient wing structure? And of course, there's about a zillion variables, which from my perspective is perfect. You know, when we talk about the idea of application of knowledge and tying together different parts and pieces and saying, oh, what, how, what variables do we control? Which ones do we modify? Yeah. What are the results as a, as a function of that? Well, there are certainly some constraints that I've envisioned. So if we say the dimensions have to be, you know, no more than, and we give them a, give them a size constraint, um, that, would, that would help. Academic teachers typically have not applied what it is they teach, so it's it's head knowledge that they have, very academic understanding, and when, coming up with project so ideas is very is difficult these, because these they're not talking the from the depths of their own experience. And, the and, and so, how do you remedy this? I, I think the simplest way is to pair teachers up with subject matter experts. The design process involves an understanding of the applied loads, how we're reacting to loads within the structure, how the, how the material performs, the different ways that things can fail. Is this question one that you would face as a wing design engineer yourself? Absolutely, it's, it's exactly the same thing. It's just on a smaller scale. That's great. If we were going to craft the driving questions for this project, this is the big one up here, how can we make an efficient wing structure? And the subsidiary questions can come out of those three things you just named. The applied loads, materials used and how they're put together, how materials fail. So how can we turn those into questions? How do materials fail? That's right. That's how do exactly materials right. fail? How are loads applied or carried? Yeah, I mean, there's external loads and internal loads, so we can talk about, you know, what are the loads applied to the structure and what, where are those loads going within the structure? About how would you phrase the question? I would phrase the question, what are the loads applied to the wing? How are they dispersed? And how, are, how, is the wing, how does the wing carry those loads? Those are great. That just frames the task for the kids. A good driving question sets up a process of inquiry that the students are interested in and that guides them towards how they're going to do the work and what the, the kind of work they're going to have to produce in order to answer the question. So we had the the loads that apply to a wing and how the wing carries those loads. We, we've got how do materials fail and there was one. What one. materials are used and how do they behave when they're put together? What about a more basic question of what are good wing materials? Well, that's a little awkward because um, newspaper isn't shed. a very good wing, materi <laughs> wing material, okay. obviously, but, but this, you do the same kind of tests and calculations with, a, with aluminum or, or carbon fiber or anything like that. But at some point, are the kids going to get a chance to hear about what you actually use? Oh, yeah, we could, I could do that. Yeah. No problem. You know, it almost seems to me like we need to come up with some questions for like that. How does working in a group help me be successful? Or, or how could, do you know what I'm saying? I mean, we have all, I think we need to take these questions and go through all of our things we're trying to get through to the students, not just the engineering part. That's the, that's the real world application in terms of the goal. But, you know, if you can't work with somebody, that, yeah, why make a team? I mean, just do it by yourself. Mm -hmm. Or how can you make a better design by putting more than one head together? Yeah. Um, something, I mean, just, I don't know what it is, but something no, to that no, effect. No, no, right on. And I, I love the question of what gifts does each person bring? Yeah. Are we happy with the, the driving question? I think we have yeah, that. I, th I think perfect. From my perspective, it's perfect. 